Hi, glad you could join me today. If you'd like to paint along with me, there are links in the description to the paper and paints I'm using, but whatever you have around will work just fine. We're using acrylics on canvas paper today. So I thought for today's painting, we'd just throw in a little composition and then get right into the painting. So what we're gonna have today is a big old Midwest sky with some flat ground, a little bit of rolling hills, with some nice greens and yellows and just some standard daytime colors with a really soft blue sky and we're gonna leave it pretty unmixed and leave a lot of the white in there to just give the indication that we have some clouds. This is a really easy way to make it look like you have a lot of clouds. Then we're gonna wait for that to dry, move on to the next section and try and figure out what color we want that uh, land to be, what color we want those rolling hills to be. And the reason we're letting it dry is because it'll be easier to put on the clouds. It won't mix with the paint that's already there. That's something that's really nice about acrylic paintings. It dries so quickly that you can just move on to the next layer. And if you mess something up, you haven't really done anything too bad because you can just go right over it and try again. Now I tried a couple different things there. I went with a gray and then I also went with a green. And I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for the color there, so I just let it sit there for a little bit while I decided. Now for this cloud, I think I'm going to have a big cloud go across the whole screen, the whole, the whole page, the whole paper. And I'm just putting in the highlights now. This is going to be a big cloud, and we're going to put in a little, some little clouds around the edges. So I have a white mixed with a little bit of a red, and then I have a white mixed with a little bit of a blue. There's a lot of color in clouds. You might think they're just white fluffy things, but they have a lot of color to them especially at sunrise or sunset or a time of day like that, but even midday, there's a lot of color in those clouds. Just take a second to look at some clouds and you'll really see that there's a lot going on up there. And try and put that on your page. This really isn't that difficult to do. You just gotta sit down and give it a shot. Just put the highlight down and put the shadow down. And it can be nice to add lots of little variations in your colors. So I added a little bit more red to this next layer of highlight that I put into those clouds. And I'm just kind of sharing that with the rest of the sky, that red color, so it pulls it together a little bit nicer. And that's all you need for your sky. That was me just deciding which color I liked better, and I ended up going with the green. I liked the green more than the gray. This felt like a more happy sort of daytime thing than a gray sky sort of painting. So I'm just using this uh, emerald green color, which is a transparent color. And the way you can tell it's transparent is you can see what's behind it after you put it on the page. And I really like the way that ended up. And that's farther back in our painting, so we're having it lighter than what's closer to us. And I thought since the foreground past that first little hill is the rest of our painting. We better have some variation in the color. So I'm using some greens and some yellow ochres, and then I'm just mixed up a little bit of a green color. And then it's all right that this looks a little bit rough right now because we're just gonna go over it with that transparent color that we went over the rest of it with right there. And that'll pull it all together. That's just a fun little trick to really pull things that don't look like they're one unit together. Just find a transparent color that's similar to them and it'll really pull it together. You see I'm just kind of washing it with that transparent color. And already that's starting to look like a pretty beautiful little meadow. I kind of penciled in earlier where I wanted these trees, bushes, whatever they are they're little plants that are living on this little meadow. And they're nice for our eyes to see. And they really give you something to look at and draw your eye towards the center of the page. So we're just laying down a dark color with some pushing brush strokes. Just loading that brush and then pushing into the page. And then we're taking a light color, which is those greens and those yellows that we used earlier for the grass. And we're pushing that into where we think the sun would hit on that dark uh, blobs that we've put down. 
then just adding some little textures to the grass that we have there. Make it look like we can see it, like it's actually kind of close to us. And then you can build these paintings as you go. I thought at this point that it needed a little bit more of this uh, brush, more to look at closer to us. So I added another layer. Adding layers is something that's really good for your paintings because it gives your eye more to look at and it makes it seem more real and like there's more there. I really like adding depth to paintings. And when you're putting in this highlight color, you gotta make sure not to eat up all of that dark color that you've played, placed down. It's there for a reason. It gives your eye the illusion of light hitting the top of it and having depth to whatever it is. In this case, some little bushes. And I just thought we'd sprinkle a little bit more color on it. I thought that looked really nice. And with that, we're just about going to have a finished painting. Glad you could join me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you painted along with me, I hope you had some fun. Until next time.